What's up everybody, yet again another tutorial video of Prism Live Studio. Like I mentioned before, I've been using Prism for six or seven months and I'm not going back to OBS. Okay, so let's talk about the cameras. Let's talk about camera effects and adding scenes to camera effects that you would like, like the green screen or just adding something as simple as um, NVIDIA Broadcaster to have a green screen effect like this or a blur green, uh, effect like this one. Um, and then also I'm going to just briefly touch on things you can use as a camera in your house if you don't have a webcam. So let's dive into this video quickly. This is the video part of adding a camera to Prism Live Studio. Let's dive into it. Okay, for this part, we're going to add a camera. I'm just going to delete me so you can't see me. <laughs> right, so first you're going to need, if you're using a cell phone as a video camera, you're going to use the following software that you're going to. First, you're going to need a little software called Irium. I-R-I-U-N. That's it. And up here, you need to download it onto your cell phone. And you also need to download the software onto your PC. I'll have a link in the description below for this software. Right. So that's step one. Step two, if you have RTX card and you want to have a green screen effect without a green screen, you're going to need broadcaster, NVIDIA broadcaster. There we go, NVIDIA broadcaster. Right, that's step two, if you want to have a green screen effect. All right, let's just close that down. I'll have a link in the description below to download NVIDIA broadcaster. Okay, right, so we, let's say you want to add just the camera on your, on your, on your um, scene. So, go to seed, set up already. You're going to click on sources because you need to add the source. You're going to webcam and devices. As you can see here, click on that. Okay, let's call that phone cam. Okay, phone cam. Right, so you click OK. This is going to take you to this portion. You're going to use Irium webcam software. Okay, nice. That weird watermark. Okay, so we can just use the standard resolution. You can obviously change these um, uh, settings, but I will keep it a stock standard if you already preset it on your phone. And then you can see the quality is good. But now I'm looking wonky. Let's just put me in the right direction. So, how do you do that? How do I fix myself? How do I fix this? So, we're going to right click on me on my thing it's going to highlight yellow on the out borders you're going to say transform and you're going to flip it um, either 90 degrees or 180 depending to get it up so we can flip it right now it's flipped now how do i get this part gone because it's ugly it's, let's just say alt you're going to use your key alt and highlight red and you're going to drag it down to basically snip this scene into two plays. Cool. Now you've done it. Right. So now you can layer your your camera behind or on top. You can see I'm switching the sources, so you can layer wherever you want. You can change the the bigness or how yeah the scaling of your your thing, and then just layer it wherever you want your camera. Let's say you want to add the green screen. Now there is three ways of doing the green screen in Prism. One you can use a emulator, which is the broadcasting software. So let's go through the broadcasting software. We're going to emulate. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, because it's using. No, man, it's not supposed to be like this. Uh, Irium. Okay. Um, let's just change this to broadcaster right so the broadcaster has been changed also i'm going to change the resolution quickly um there we go cool so let's go to broadcaster then and just, just make sure it works right there we go and i want to make a green screen i'm going to add an effect it's on the camera portion Let's add a background removal. 
click here and then noise removal so that's you can see i'm already doing green screen the reason why it's a wonky because the light in my room is bad it's just adds some light so there's light on the subject but it's still it's not great this green screen effect so i wouldn't recommend using this one if you have yeah if you don't want to use it so i'm just going to use a normal uh background removal sorry background removal and yeah i'm just keeping it as is um cool so i'm going to keep this as is so you guys can basically see how my house looks like doesn't matter that's method number one method number two let's add a um just want to close this one off so you guys can't see me go add yeah you're going to use background temp no no sorry prism camera prism camera add prism camera there right you're going to add the source um i just want to remove this one gonna add the source hello let's flip it again horizontally and why it's not okay many ways and then you can do your background removal not too bad either the prism camera so i hope you guys did see what i did there so we did use this one visual background settings we'll just oh, oh my i'll flip the scene now correctly um okay so that's me we're going to say right click transform we're going to flip me around and around until i'm good there we go just my head so you guys can just see my head now at the moment that's method number two this is built into prism live studio right delete that scene right method number three having an actual green screen how do you do that first of all source again you're gonna add your camera right you're going to use the phone camera already preset oh, shit um we're gonna use the phone camera already deactivate activate Ethereum. okay it's supposed to show come on Ethereum doesn't want to work with me today there we go Ethereum works fantastic okay i just want to scale me because i am uh there we go so I'm back. So method number three, applying actual green screen. Now we have to layer filters. Now to do that, right click filters. You're gonna go to filters here. You're going to add the following. First, you're gonna add color correction, color correction. You're gonna add chroma key, chroma key. And then when you have a green screen in the back, let's get the green screen. Uh, All right, so there is a green screen there. You can see already it's black. You can see the blackness. Obviously, you can adjust this to make. You see my hand? It's it's already with a green screen. Well, we'll just have that. So you see the blackness, and there's my hand. That's perfect. So that's a green screen right there. All right, so we're gonna leave this. I'm just going to switch off the filters right click filters and you're just going to hide these all right so that is the tutorial how to to do green screen three ways and the camera if you guys want to add a camera right on the next tutorial we're going to talk about web-based sources see you guys on the next video if you did like this video please thumbs up go check me out on twitch i'm the whiskey ranch go and support me there I would love to see your faces there and come hang out in my chat. And if you have any questions, please hit me up in the description below. I'll see you guys on the next tutorial on Prism. Adios, amigos. Okay.